One last conflict. Still honest. Change this to cross. Boom. So copy then paste. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Young Barba and in this video I will show you a program that I created in Excel that will automate the scheduling process of the classes in our entire school. So I've been using this tool for two years already. So I, I guess it's time for now to share it to everyone. So this is the homepage. I am uh, already done inputting all this four important data so now I will show you the features of this tool firstly the automated teacher class program so we click it so these are ready to print timetables so as you can see in our school we have 57 teachers so imagine if you uh, manually type this uh, timetables and if there are changes you type again so it's so hassle for us uh, teachers assigned in scheduling so after plotting all the schedule we can now print all this uh, timetables and of course if there are teacher class schedule there's also this class schedule per student or per section so we just select from the drop down list the section that we will print so in our school we have 31 sections plus 18 special classes uh, the usual process of this scheduling will take two to three weeks manually um, but Using this tool, I was able to schedule the entire school in one to two hours. So, it's really a great help for us. And another powerful fe feature of this tool is this teacher substitute. And this is the reason why I programmed this tool. Uh, this is actually uh, a product of our continuous improvement project. No? It's a CI project, uh, product of DepEd. And it's basically here to solve a specific problem. Our problem that we wanted to solve is about the misconduct of students. And we were able to find out the root cause is that DepEd or even other schools private schools have no um, specific program for substituting absent teachers so I created this program uh, to automate the substitute teachers if that the teacher will absent so we just select from the drop-down list the name of teachers and all her substitute teachers will come out so these are again ready to print timetables so ang magkaiba lang may mga substitute teachers siya so for example si mga Jezebel Acosta no? she's an English teacher so mostly ang mga substitute niya are English teachers also no? again this will uh, happen automatically we don't type all these teachers here no? it depends on the schedule of teachers so for example see on Wednesday morning uh, my English class si ma'am Jessa and mga substitute niya si ma'am Jeremy si ma'am Lelaine ma'am Hydes they are English teachers most of them are English teachers the system will automatically select uh, teachers that can substitute Ma'am Jessa if mag absent siya. Uh, let's try uh, science teacher Ma'am Janice. 
So ito, so lahat ng klase niya is in the morning. So since she's teaching science, let's try to look at this on Wednesday to Friday. Most of her substitute are science teachers. So sweet, ma'am. Ma'am Bibing, ma'am Kalinda is a science teacher. If we try to look at the class program of ma'am Kanyete, hmm. she is a graduate of BS Ed and her major is integrated science. So let's just go back to substitute. So ma'am Kanyete is a sub of Janice Barba, Ma'am um, Janice Barba, Wednesday morning. If we try to look at the schedule of Ma'am Pelinda Kanyete, vacant siya sa Wednesday morning. Um, let's try another teacher. Math naman. Let's try. Ito, Sir Julius. So, these are the schedule of Sir Julius and automatically the system selects substitute for his classes if he will be absent. So, ito, mostly mga math teachers then, no? Monday, Sir Cañete Romero is a math teacher. Sir Dorion is a math teacher. Ah, uh, of course, there are other features of this. It will this tool will also automatically generate itong pinatawag natin na designation, no? Uh, I added this because that kasi ng mga designation kailan permado na SDS. So we just select from drop down list and <clears throat> select the designation. Let's try to select one teacher, si Ma'am Rose. Designation ni Ma'am Rose, ito, apat. Then, if you select that, it will generate the designation ready for signature of our SDS. Uh, Shoutout pala sa mga kasama ko in our CI team who developed this uh, tool. Of course, our school head, Ma'am Alves. I will upload a separate video for the details of this CI project that I've said. It's an action research. By the way, to those na humihingi ng electronic class record na walang password, no, I'm sorry. I was, I didn't mean to put a password on my uploaded electronic class record. It, it's an old tool kasi, no? So, so, ito siya, no? Mga link, you can download it for free, of course. Just use the link for grades 1 to grade 10. This is the link. If you want to download it for free, wala pong password yan. You can edit it and make, make your own. So, let's try. Kita lang natin how to download. Just copy-paste this or type this to the browser. So, I copy paste ka lang. So, this is for the grades 1 to 10 electronic class record. So, once opened, you just click download. And now, it's loading. And you can see, na download na siya. Let's try yung sa senior high school. <clears throat> Ito. So, if you're a senior high school teacher, you use this link to download the password-free uh, version of my electronic class record that I developed. Just type it on the browser and boom, click download. So as you can see, I the download yeah. Again, that is open for everybody. You can have it. Um, sorry lang talaga, matagal akong maka-upload. <laughs> uh, medyo na-busy this 
last three months no i was logging at my channel so hopefully this 2021 i'll upload more of my works and hopefully makatulong sa inyo na. so that's it if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe